the second half is entirely dedicated to one piece, uh, definitely the most ambitious piece that Contemporaneous has taken on to date uh, by our co-artistic director. Um, and let's see, yeah, big piece for chamber orchestra, including toy piano and harpsichord and detuned harp and just about every, every other, uh, let's see, uh, part of a car. Um, so <laughs> this is Atlas of Somewhere on the Way to Holland Island. Thank you, David. <laughs> um, as you can tell, I'm totally horrified. Um, I'm, I'm worried that I might disappear somewhere on the way to Howland Island. Um, in the middle of this place. It's from reading the Wikipedia article on Howland Island, which is, which is like somehow totally tragically beautiful. It's, it's an unbelievable. Everybody, go check out Wikipedia Howland Island. It's amazing. But um, it, the. Just the, it's sort of this beautiful operatic story in that Howland Island is it's like it's like 500 feet long and it's nothing but gravel and it looks exactly like the shadow of a cloud, which is why Amelia Earhart missed it. But um, they in 1935, the U.S. Army sent like four people to go inhabit the island and build an airstrip so that when Amelia Earhart did her flight around the world, she could land there and refuel. And so if nobody landed on it until they just finished it, and she's on her way all the way around the world. She starts in Hawaii and goes east, and so she made it to Fiji, and she was on the last leg of her trip, just about to complete the, the first um, female solo journey around the world, and she disappeared somewhere <coughs> on the way to heaven. David's learned all of it, and he's spent a lot of time doing it, and if you look at it, all of, you, know, you see lots of colors. I didn't write it in color. <laughs> um, David, David is in color in a while. Mostly it's an emotional atlas, um, and it's for, it's for the idea uh, of those people who have disappeared. So this piece is, is for everybody who, you know, goes up against everything to try and do what they want to do. And, um, you know, whether, whether or not they fail is of no consequence. Um, and the, the, way, the way I see it with this piece is that Amelia somehow Makes her, makes her way up into the stars and becomes a constellation, uh, like some sort of Greek myth. You'll, you'll hear the end, the, the last cue is starship, and um, the end is hopefully transcendent, but at least happy. And now the program cover makes sense. It does, yes. Yeah.